on stage. We're going to see in just a minute if enemy esports knows how to train their Dragon Knights. Now for TDK, they win a shot. <laughs> yeah, pretty much League of Legends now in a nutshell. Jungle and everything becoming a team objective. This should go to maybe many junglers, but a fight coming to the bot lane. A great body slam flash. Gonna catch up Otter, and the explosive charge takes the kill. Emperor's low. Trashy wants it. A great flash from Emperor. And no void spike comes oh out. Many rocket jumps over the wall. Kez gonna get away safely. Flares also burned his teleport. Catastrophic you for can enemy. Make more plays. You can go for a dragon or a bot lane gank. Oh, a flash! Bot up goes through the anchor to catch up to Smoothie, who is a flashless Nautilus. The repeat gank from enemy esports. TDK pushes the wave, gives the kill over to Otter. Comeback's happening. Needs that damage right away. And yeah. Won't be able to fit it in later. It makes him also less bruisery. Haunting guy's health really helps Rumble early, but here comes TDK. Roam down from Rumble. They're trying to force his Chen ult as Ooh, well. Ooh, flash just in time by Otter and... Actually, no, just by Trashy. Otter just walked away enough. Most have cast down, but TDK are in control of the dragon. Now, the TP this is This could up for be players. a big fight for enemy. They still have a lot of their ultimates coming in here, and a lot was burned by TDK. Here comes the Shen Force. Shen ulti in on Inox, but Inox way too aggressive. Tries to get away. He's burning down, but actually survives. A kill and a trash. They force Emperor out as well. Enemy getting the better side of this fight. They get control back over Dragon, and yes, enemy esports gets the kill, gets the dragon, gets away safe against that target specifically, much less against everyone else. And, and he's squishy. He's very squishy. Taunt comes back in easy. Knock him and down goes Seraph. Equalizer barely comes out before he dies, but uselessly so. Only kills two caster minions. Ninja gets charmed, though. Wants to fight Inox. Level 11 for both. You can see the MR stacking working pretty well. Nice pull back to get rid of some of the uh, ulties. And the oh. burn down Woo. from challenging Spike gives Ninja the kill. Merlin Amakon in for Inox, so no MR from the Ari build, even though he has a Null Magic Mantle here. Whoa. A jump in for Emperor, that's actually typical for him though. And that's gonna mean Otter is a bit overextended, he will get ulted out. No, doesn't get used! Otter just gets killed right away, even despite the Flare's ult, he knockback only knocks back body drop. He's gonna stay safe, but another one for Zero. Engage works for TDK, and they're back in a good spot. Emperor doing a whole bunch of damage, but Inox is roamed down, Ninja's still in mid. That could be a risk of flash. Knockup comes through. The charm is going to land. And they've already killed off Seraph. Flash unable to be used. A double kill for Inox finally enters into this fray. So TDK won the first battle but lost the second, as happened earlier in the game as well in the bottom lane. Uh, enemy doing a really good job on the counter attack for the most part. But now Ninja with a counter counter. Really nice pull in. Kez over the wall ends the body slam. Shen ulti pop to try to save Trashy. And he's got body drop nearby. A big. Ooh. Taunt comes through, does damage to Ninja, but the chase is still on. Gets fired up with the shield activation, and now poor Shen overextended. Six to five, TDK taking the kill lead once more. Uh, but we actually have a fight probably approaching here, so we'll get to that later. We'll see you later, Ninja, the most fed member on the map, just doesn't even take damage with the defensive build. Otter gets the Shen ulti, they're still trying to kill up the and they will do so. The shutdown on the big fed member of TDK, Seraph dies afterwards. It's a two for one, though, as they have lost Smoothie. In goes Emperor, gets the kill, looks for the reset, and stays safe for now. Trashy and Flares maybe on the run. No, they go in, they catch the stun on Emperor, just on a low on health. One more hit will do it, Flares gets the kill. Down goes the Nautilus as well, a four for two, all said and done. He's getting that extra 30 from his smite. Uh, but this is... Safe. A nice oh, play by enemy. Knock up on Emperor. Whoa, down he goes. Inox forced to run, but he's going to get enough time. Seraph now low. Otter pushed away to the front line. Now isolated, but they do enough damage to continue the TDK retreat. Smoothie goes down as well. Flares a few inches away from killing Seraph. Uh, trying to use the Fate's Call as soon as cooldown's used on Body Drop to immediately turn that into a pick onto a carry. Brilliant play right there, and this gives them an opening to take Baron. They have the Callista secure as well, so uh, steal a beat three, and they steal it! The double spite! The rend was early! The kills come back through, but Baron stolen by Ninja off a bad rend from Otter. Maybe well, there's gonna be a force in the mid lane, though. Emperor might be caught out. Oh, yeah, back in the mid lane. Emperor very, very low. Ignite is on, but the kills can't quite come through. But Trashy Durable enough to go for the knock of Ninja. Always Jumping going in. in. Forwards, looking for Inox. Pop Zonius can't get it. Flare still has ulti, which means anyone who gets dived is going to be saved so easily. And that's where enemy is gaining their edge. They're doing it again here. They're looking once more for the pick. Body drop is going to land the stun onto the very squishy Seraph. Knockup comes through. Easy kill for Trashy. His fourth of the game. Four. 
He's in aggressive posture. Use that righteous for GDK may still be looking to fight, but it would be super oh, dangerous. Oh, flashes in! Inox is gonna die for that one. Shutdown comes through. Shen gonna be joining somewhat in this fray, but Emperor drops out. Body drop. Flares is here. Looks for some damage. Otter can re-engage just maybe. Knockouts come through. TP Seraph's here play from Seraph, but down goes Emperor. Now the battle continues, but Ninja cleaning up absolutely everybody. Two shutdowns this fight so far. Trashy also drops. It's a four for one with Flares on the run. Oh man, wow. In what started out as a 4v5 with super- Oh man. This is the moment right here though because they get the inhibitor but the teleport is back from Seraph. So they did force an inhibitor, but the game is on. Oh, well mixed call, mixed call. They don't go for Kez in the right amount of time. Body drop gets killed, face call was down. Now Otter forced to put away. Ninja in the front lines does not land the reset Q though. Kez very, very, very low on health. Smoothie does go down to Inox, but Emperor's in the fight. Knocks him over the wall. Trashy does what damage he can't, can't quite claim the kill though. It's a one for one jungler for support. Low health on TDK means they will have to give away control for some time. Some gold went their He's way, in but trouble. Why is Seraph still here? A lack of wards and a lack of map presence right here. They don't land the stuns. They do land the slow from the Rand ones. Easy kill on to Seraph. Flair is able to be a CC bot with the activated Mostly slow. Full power and it's a 4v5. Behind TDK them. has taken 4v5s before. Are they Look willing to do it again? Inox. A lot of damage before Whoa. the shit can even ult. They get the one for nothing, but how about the re-engage? Zonia's popped by Ninja. Tamper's in the front lines. A lot of damage coming through from Kalista. Down to half HP. He's still chasing a great stun from Annie. They get the shutdown. The fight continues. Enemy's front line is big enough. Kez just barely gets out, but the inhibitor's open. There's a big wave bottom. It is, keep in mind, a two versus four. Enemy could do whatever they want with the map right now. Yeah, they... All right, once again, Sarah fourth to defend. Down to half HP. Is dealing damage to flares, but there's the push on in. Top turret lower and lower. Trashy at half. Hard engage comes in for TDK. They want Inox. Forced him to flash away. They're re-engaged. They're splitting their focus again, but they will knock out Kez. They force Smoothie to flash out, and the turret will go down, opening the third inhibitor. TP comes back in from Shen. Flair's already healed back up. Ninja forced to zone it. This could be the game-winning push. Here they go. Ninja goes down. Flair's the front line taking the Nexus turret, but who even cares? Ah, he does. He dies. But it's still going to be the push. Three members dead from TDK. Three inhibitors dead. Four kills now. Emperor, the last one alive. That's going to be the ace. That's going to be the game. Enemy Esports finally get their fourth win of the split. What a massive victory right here for Enemy. This puts them at four wins. It keeps TDK at one. And it is a huge, huge moment for them because they are now three games ahead of TDK, who many expected to surge in the standings. Next game of the day, it's Counter Logic Gaming versus Team Impulse. And now Impulse they killed the turret and double three called right on Pickaxe Gold and got back the into fact lane. That he's probably dead. Yeah, okay, he's probably dead. Rush, red buff. Ooh! Oh, double left! Double left! Gets first blood! He's gonna chase him down! How about that for lane swap Woo! play? Oh man, impact lives with the sick outplay for double lift. Aphra's here as well. The binding, the flashing night, <laughs> assist goes over. What an amazing set of plays. Wow, so sometimes Double If and Aphromoo just decide to make some plays. Double If puts himself. They just crush Impact and Rush in that duo. Rush though, still coming back for more. And Smithy's here. Red buff slow is on. Smithy body slam, flash nice over the wall. Flash. Really well aimed. Another kill for Double If. Holy cow, CLG. Well, we knew they didn't have the hugest initiation, oh, but they God. still had the potential to outplay. You can't they, the TP, they didn't want it. Yeah. Or they think they have enough damage anyway. Time those impact is losing out on experience without teleport, but Rush. I don't know how he's With Chilling Spite really wants to fight Zion. If he lands the next spear, he's got a chance. Really good patience by Rush goes in. One more hit will do it. Well played, Rush gets one back finally. The nice double smite rush filling up his mana first, and then Shao is Shao smiting it second. Look out! Oh my god, CLG constantly oh, with the aggression. Oh, beautiful Double combo. even gets the kill for it. CLG playing around double so well. The comps built around him, the gameplay's working too. That's the difficulty of trying to initiate, but they did get a lot of turret damage, and there's oh, finally a bind. explosive cask in, Shao is Shao, spells are down, flashes right back onto the equalizer, kill goes through, goes over to Zion's part. Mid lane turret's still not dead, but... That will go to Rush, so Impulse, despite the fact they're losing the map. Impressive by Rush, but oh, Shao Wei Shao overextended it again! Double if gives the rocket. All right, turret number four for Catalogic Gaming. Wave clear not really mattering then from the Ezreal. 
Top lane did go down though. A traded push means top lane. What kind of trade is killed. this? I don't know, because CLG's knocking down an inhibitor turret right now. They're gonna re-engage and look for Zion Spartan, but who really cares if you kill Rumble? Your inhibitors are going down. A 16 and a half minute kill on the turret. The flash exhaust comes in. That's the kill for impact. Zion goes down, but bot lane inhibitor is sure to fall. Yeah, the, the best that Impulse can hope for is a trade right now. So they're trying to rush down that inhibitor turret, but they have lost their minion wave. Now it's all about stopping the recalls of the four members of CLG who just took out the inhibitor, but there's only two people there to do it, and it's dangerous. Well, keep in mind, the inhibit itself may not mean yeah, much with, with Dragon down for a while and Baron not oh. spawning for three more minutes. CLG. Do you know if um, Super Minions scale many of their stats with game time? I can't Oh, that okay. was going to turn into a kill. Oh, oh, Smithy, no! Come on! That was going to be a double lift kill. Actually, well, Rush had flash, so there was a quarter second away from that not being a kill at all. Ezol comes in, gets the steal! Boom. And Impulse continue to get at least one blue buff every time they respawn. Okay, well, the heal counteracts a harpoon, but... Yeah, they got to be a little You don't want to stay. Baron, Baron does hard. so much damage. Smithy's one Ooh. hit from dead! Rush lanes a Q, he's gonna go down, whoa! Zion Spartan gets the kill, double from the chase. Maybe a bit risky, but Zion helping him knock this one down. Tornado does not land. Shadow Show at half, out they go. His ult's up, can he get the kill? Afro! Oh, he does! Machai's worth it! One kill on the board, a one for one overall in that fight. Baron meant nothing, impact. Meganar ran out, he cannot hit anyone into a wall. Oh, he's look going at down. that Zion. Oh my god, whoa! Miscommunication, Flash, and Ulti used at the same time. Only needed one of those two. The pull has down Rush, getting chased out by Double. Crit still coming through, brings Apollo low. He's got Black Shield on. He's not taking any damage at all. But here goes Meganar. Flash knocks in, doesn't land the stun, but a lot of damage still comes through. He got Rocket it. means he's unstoppable, and Double Lift gets out. Oh my god, CLG Double Lift. Double Lift trying to be a one man army. And it's kind of working. Honestly, these fights are still so close, and it's only because Impulse is in position. Oh, Smith, he gets a nice knock in, forcing the flash out of Shao Wei Shao. Just a couple Even more crits. More damage comes through. Two shots will do it. Double could carry the fight. Adrian goes down. Zap hits Shao Wei Shao. One more hit. He gets the shutdown by killing off the Jinx. But the kill still comes through for Zion Spartan. A three for one for CLG. I think so. I think Impulse might even make a run for Baron here, especially if they can interrupt recalls. They even see COG here. So now, now COG's in a difficult position because they can actually go for an inhibitor clear, but it would be a trade for an inhibitor, or sorry, for, for, for the Baron. Baron. Maybe the game. If COG plays this right, they would interrupt recalls and try and win the game. This is huge. Zion Spartan does not have TP. He couldn't be able to stop recalls, but Impact may just go down himself. He's trying to run dodge of the binding. He's going to be safe on the fountain. Oh, Ooh. even with the rocket, he stays alive. So how fast does Baron no, die? There it is. Recalls. Four seconds for recalls. Run right after There's COG. only four minions left. This wave's going to die away. They get one turret, and that's it. Baron for a turret and an inhibitor. I don't know if it's good for CLG. TP oh, playing with Impact. He can build up a Narbar. Will they keep going? Shao Wei Shao ults up in 10 seconds. Talisman has been used, Sivir ult is down, so the ability of Team Impulse to catch them is not that great, especially with the return fire they can throw after, but he's still landing the boomerangs to keep him slow. They're gonna try. All right, Whimsy used for some move speed. Ezol gets Whoa. after the one hit away from dead. Can any more damage land? Glitterlance not get spell shielded. Impact misses the boomerang. In comes Shao Wei Shao. Ulti used by Lulu to keep him alive. 11 to 4. Javelin on the side. Sivir Here comes Impulse. Sivir ult in 10 seconds. The Talisman came back. They're continuing this chase. If they wipe CLG, they would win the game. All right, it's one kill, but that's it. CLG gets away onto the turret, losing a champion, losing a Baron, but getting an inhibitor and one turret. Get used. They know CLG's there. CLG still hold ward control. Two man as ult. That's not what CLG wanted right there. It'll be down for the team fight though. Aphromu is the playmaker. The fact that he is low means he cannot position forward for bindings because it could mean his death. He also needs to keep the black shield on a double if Dragon started. Impulse get vision back. This is going to be the risk here. Double smite. Keep in mind for Impulse. CLG can also stall this. Remember, Super Minions open. pushing and that wave was not managed. So the multiple points of threat there. But the Dragon goes away to Sniver. And Zion Zodius is by himself. Complete miscoordination. Zion goes down. Dragon to Impulse. The push is in. The minion wave is in the bot lane though. You got to be careful if you're Impulse. Double Exhausted, pushed on, gonna get jumped, gonna go down, a two for zero for Impulse. They're gonna go for the third, and Smith is gonna fall as well. A big team fight, four kills. Belter, the last one alive, trying to run away. Poe Belter to keep his base afloat, there but the Nexus turrets turret. are all gone. He dodged his true shot barrage, but Impulse have to defend their base. CLG getting nothing else for this one. Shao Shao dodges it. Yeah. 
There goes the playmaking opportunity, and, and there's Pobalt. Hopefully they're going to go in for Pobalt. There's Ooh. Pebble not land, but Smithy gets caught up, gets smited. The slow is enough, and Apollo gets the kill. TP from Zion Spartan, but really not it doing anything. Fell so fast. CLG had no chance to defend that. Now their base is in danger. Easy pick up a giant wave top. Remember, that turret's already dead, so it's such an easy push for Impulse. Blue buff still on the backside, meaning that goes over to, I believe, Xiao Wei. Xiao has a fresh blue buff, a fresh Baron buff. The push is on. Smithy respawns in three seconds. There's a gigantic wave. They're going for the end game push right now. Double lift against the world. This wave is so huge Impulse. to try and clear. Double going for a the little turret. bit low. Big crits, though. They've got to be careful. Xiao Wei Xiao goes in. The ult's coming across. Aphromoo's dead. It's a 5v4 again. Impact goes down. Double but go. they trade for double lift. It's only two men alive. Here comes the game winning push. Impulse are going to do it. They're going to win the game. They're going to knock down CLG in 39 minutes. The big comeback win. They lost an inhibit 17 minutes. And Impulse win the game. What a wild one this was for Team Impulse. Rush has a poor early game, but maintains his undefeated record on Italy. The teams are loading up on stage for a battle for first place between Team Solo Mid and Gravity. Now, TSM has called an audible and made a midweek substitution to once again start Wild Turtle as AD Carry. And Wild Turtle, he did. See, the last matchup was certainly a very close battle. The TSM did squeak that one out. But Boo, leading up to his name, heading up to the top lane, Flash, the late bounce, very smart mechanical play by Boo, saving the yep. bounce for the Flash. I feel like Altec will just die here. I, I, I'm curious about that ping, though. Lust Boy lands the flash, lands the stun. Altec spell shield something, but it's not nearly enough. First blood to Lust Boy. Great setup by TSM. Happy to give away a couple of turrets. Oh, boy. There's no turret in the top lane, and there's many more people for gravity right here. Teleport could come in from Dyrus, but and he's going to start. Wild Turtle gets hit up on a lot of counter engage. Keen tries to get the kill, but tries to get away. Wild Turtle, Ignite is on, and the fight continues. A big Meganar! BRC gets the first kill and a move, and the battle continues. Dyrus on the run, Flash the way he is safe. A one for zero that Gravity ends up losing. Moves might it away. Wolves are his, and Midling getting pressured. You can see, again, with the spell shield, gets some mana back, and Altex gonna knock down the fourth turret of the game. Gravity constantly using the Sivir as a battering ram. Hanser finding Wild Turtle, Bunny Poo in range, and of course Flash is down. Oh, the top Flash from Bunny's gonna pull in Wild Turtle for another second or two. Lust nice Boy dodge in the queue, Lost Boy's around, but Turtle's gonna take too much damage from this, I imagine. One yep. more hit, the top Bunny Fubu secures the kill, his first of the game, Gravity. Tie up the score uh -oh. and move. Lost Boy He's exposed himself. Can he get the spear? Does he even need it? He gets both. Probably didn't. Bam! Oh, oh. The chaos stun from Keen. Here, if they can clean out the vision, they can also bait the Baron because all they want to do is pop a Righteous Glory and go for it. Now, if the Scrying Orb is down, that gives them the knowledge that the Warding is dead and they and might just go. Find oh, they get him! Post -flash. They get him! Dead. In goes the Chaos Dunk for kill number two on Keen. Explosive Cask used to disengage a little bit, but it's not enough. Lust Boy goes down. A two kill for nothing for Gravity in the go towards Baron. And now yep. for the first inhibitor of many. How aggressive will they get with this Fast Dragon and the Baron? There's Oh, Darius. Keen gets pulled in, though. He's going to get killed off. It's a one for one as Wild Turtle is caught out. Also, Dyrus, a two for one now. One inhibitor already down. Inhibitor turret number two under fire. Gravity to push the wave in. Heal back up and knock down another one. Hanser pulls the aggro. Could have waited a second. Careful, buddy. Yeah, yeah the 1,000 health. They have so much power now, and it is still a 4v3. Uh, so two inhibitors down, nice timings there by Gravity. And you can see Altec really okay here, but Meganar's in. Dyrus uh, does have the ulti cooldown, gets rooted up by Hanser, looks for the pull in. They do catch the Maokai. Timur's not an only one, but look how durable Hanser is. Full tank tree, finds the engage. Goodbye, Wild Turtle. Altec gets his first kill of the game. Another knockback by Santorin, but oh man, turrets are falling. Gravity to drop the third inhibitor and now to knock down the game. Five dragons, two barons, every single turret. And that's going to be the game going, I believe, right now. They've got minions in the base. They've got the game ending. And in 40 minutes, Gravity make it a 2-0 week over CLG and TSM. And they end week six in first place. Who are these guys is the better question, I feel like, because...
Dignitas versus Team Liquid. An incredibly important match coming in here. We have an Alistar right behind you. TSO. Yeah. We saw how that went with Cali Trolls. Oh. But look at this, the flash. Not afraid to go in when they have the advantage, though. Expecial very low. That flash puts him in range of melee. Still three members of Dignitas here. One last Forkle Blade and a hate spike to come out. They take him down, and Piglet's left alone. Fade is at the bottom. Now, a Sivir Thresh is one of the most difficult to gank. Oh. Uh, both top laners have teleport, though. Activation of the Yolky. bomb alarm towards the top side, but the fight's on the bottom. Teleport behind oh. Quas. He's in a great spot. Here comes Phoenix with the gate as well. See if he can get out of this fight. Quas has a great hold on the back line right now. Another arcane smash keeps Core JJ almost in range. Gamsu is able to get his dash out of there. AD carries have trained themselves to quickly spell shift the combo. <laughs> Here goes Phoenix, though. Oh, gate oh. to Helios. He's looking he's to make so plays squishy. by himself. Helios only with that Trailblazer on, and he's going oh. for damage anyways. Like you said, squishy Zyrene. True Shot Barrage comes right across. They'll get the record. Whoa. They usually kill. No, Phoenix doesn't go down the... Really? Mystic Shot misses. They finally pick it up. I thought he was going to be able to squeak his way out of there. Core JJ looking to follow up with a Piercing Arrow, and the Spell Shield from Piglet keeps them safe. Second item just yet, and Team Liquid are just splitting up. They're sieging down as fast as they can, and they're split pushing. They're not really looking for these fights, but Kiwi Kid is a little out of position here. This Got could be man. big. Throw on the Unbreakable Will. He'll be fine for now, but Quas is going to be right where he wants. He's going to go on to Helios with Piglet. Everybody gets an assist on that one. Core JJ and Shifter, the two DPSers on the outside, but I don't think they can put anything back into the fight. Gamsu's forced to flash out, and Team Liquid and Quas go headstrong into the composition of Dignitas. They're playing very methodical. The last time they lost to Team Dignitas was off of that late game call in the final two minutes. Oh, they're going for, for a decisive play. call. Very close. The Lantern's there if anybody wants to get out. Looks like they do want to stay and try to kill Kiwi Kid. Gamsu comes in at the right time. Quas right to the backside. He's going to get a smash on, but it doesn't really stop too much. It is Core JJ and Kiwi that have finally fallen down. They're going right past the turret. Quas, Vengeful, Maelstrom denying so much damage that Dignitas is trying to put back into the fight. And Liquid just put a stranglehold on Dignitas in that top lane and take him down. You yeah. split, you pressure, you group up, and you engage. Counter engage. What, what a game where Team Liquid has put their foot down. We heard Peter coming in talking about what would kind of be the pivotal guys they need to lock down. A little bit of Kiwi Kid, a little bit of Gamsu. They had good pressure on those guys in the beginning, and they were able to come up strong. They're just going to go for game here. Dominating it, victory. It is going to be very dominating. Coming out strong. 27-58 on the clock. 10-2 in kills. Team Liquid will take the 1-1 over Team Dignitas. If your team is having trouble with those late game high pressure situations, don't let it go late game and have to make those decisions. Yeah. Just end the game. 28 minutes for Team Liquid. And we're making a final sprint for this one. Lemon, Dodo. Dodo come around. Walk in, get that play first. Keep him slowly in range. Oh, he's gonna go for it. Flash. It's the TP. All right, could have got the hook, but he goes for the for sure play here. They want to be able to pick up a kill for themselves. The TP is actually stopped towards the top side of the map. It looks like he may have canceled that himself or got hit up. And another Ooh. one coming in. A nice assist, actually, to go over to Porpoise. They make sure the kill goes to Nien very nicely. Kill lane. They want to yeah. fight. They want to get the aggression in. They want to use that. A lot of people Everything are too, they've been practicing. 2v2 me, bro. But that's not what happens <laughs> here. They know the flash from Balls is down. And he oh, has no turret either. He has here. 3v2 me, bro. A nice jump over, actually. A little bit of a faker game getting played out by High. Tries to get the fancy feed in there, but I don't think it's going to work. One for one so far. Dodo goes down for Balls there. He's going down bottom. He's got something Whee! to save. Saving on to Nien. Looks like they're going hard on the fight. Nien actually baited in a 2v1 on that with the call of Cali Trolls. Looks like they have enough aggression. Oh, but here's the TP from Balls. His people need him. This is going to be big. Nobody actually saw that happen. They're focused on this, tunneling into the fight already. Now he's actually in a 2v1. This doesn't look as enticing as it did before to Balls. He could go down. High is actually just on the edge, but the roam from Dodo is here for a possible lantern save. And this fight's still going under the oh, turret. Man. Dodo goes hard for Sneaky under the turret. He uses both summoners there. He wasn't able to get over the tri brush wall if he wanted to. Really well played there from teammate Porpoise, just having nerves of steel, standing in that brush, knowing that Alistar is coming up. That could have gone completely the opposite yeah. direction if they had allowed Balls to escape. This or get his damage off. Sneaky. I feel, she's, she's I feel that he's he got, already used got his Valkyrie. Got key strike. Key strike. Oh! Oh! The, minions, the minions might take him down. He's got his shield to come back up. How did he live? Moving in could be what they need to get what they want. Yeah. yeah. Oh. 
That's going to be the Shen ultimate. It's got to go on the end if they want it. He hits it right there, and they do get the fight out of the mid lane, pressuring the turret. Exactly what they were looking for. That's going to be going on to high. He's forced out of the fight. They, however, tunneled a bit too much. Incarnation, he walked all the way over from that split push. That was the Stand United from Cali Trolls to come in. They thought they had a bit more time to play with, but Cloud9 collapsed nicely. Oh, still going for Nian. Oh, Nian goes down as well in this one. Cali looking. Oh, Hai's going to get it. Oh! So that did play out nicely to teammates' favor. They got a fight in front of the turret, but Cloud9 was kind of thinking the same thing already. Well, the way that it got started, Lemonation had poised it, had made everybody, made sure everybody was ready. That was a prepped fight of start this, and then the TP from Balls was already on its way. Right. He was able to TP to the back line and equalizer perfectly. Dodo, though, oh, he's not picking on the right people. Incarnation still has ulti. Incarnation has yet to use his ulti still this game. That last bit of turret health, it makes people do crazy things. Them gets it third. Zonia's Hourglass already completed on Ezreal. So Golden Wu has his. Ooh. Looking, looking. Oh, Jarvin's helping. Porpus on the backside. Balls and Sneaky inside. Lemonation headbutts him out of his own cataclysm. They're on to Balls. They take him down. Rumble ultimate goes out, but doesn't affect too much a teammate. On to Sneaky as the death sentence misses. They have Lemonation even with Unbreakable Will on. And that could be the kill. The oh. flash at the end of the taunt. The Mystic Shots hit from the follow-up and the flash of Golden Glue. And the team starts to lock down Cloud9. Four members down. Incarnation forced to watch Baron now. See if he can do something. He was split pushing, and they started the Fight off without him. It was a they were able to just close it with Porpoise Pops. Decisive call there from Team Eight. Now it's Incarnation versus the World. That was even kind of a, a miss engage coming out. The Righteous Glory missed and the Thresh missed, and Porpoise said, "We still have this." Incarnation's off on the side. Incarnation now in the front, in the face of Team Eight, and he cannot do much. He throws out the Shurikens, but it will not get the Baron, and he's got to has to shadow away from this one. True Ooh. shot almost walks right into it. And Nian, they're going to be able to take him down. He tried to use just about everything to get out of there. Saves his summoners, though, as he should. And his ult. Possibly tank a Baron or a turret. Honestly, that gold is better used on somebody else. It's better used earlier on if they can get it. But he was just picking up things. And let's see. Oh, stunted there. He couldn't I, get through. He tried to go for the play. You see the flash after he dove in as well. He still goes in, goes for the kick anyways. They want him off the inhibitor. High got exhausted during that, so it wasn't much damage to follow through as well. But they get good summoner spells out of teammate. Doesn't bother teammate at all. They're going to head on for the inhibitor. They're going to be able to take the second one down here. Looking at a full team of Cloud9. They've just pushed them back to the fountain because they have so much control over these fights. Through the wall. The end goes for the true grit, or rather the dash in. And then with the true grit pass passive, no fight coming back from Incarnation. He's too strong. Also has the Quicksilver Sash if he wants to. Quick draw. That's what I was looking for. Yeah. Words are tough. Oh! I've seen Graves in a while. That was quick, too. This will be the third inhibitor going down for Team 8. Cloud9 on the back foot. Wow. Pretty much all game. There was one or two points. They might be going for the throat here. They might be trying to end the game. Just under 40 minutes. They're looking at the Nexus turrets. Hopefully not tunneling too much. Shot towards Sneaky. Brings them down to about 80%. Lemon Nation gets zeroed out and chopped up. Ground beef for dinner tonight. Cali Troll's very low, but he's still able to stay in. He's got some 1,000 HP probably already in that bar still. Crazy stuff. These guys so far ahead, able to methodically take these fights, push each other in and out, taking the right amount of damage, and they are going to take down Cloud9 methodically in the end. Coming up on 40 minutes, 15 to seven. The Nexus goes down and teammate take down Cloud9. And they push Cloud9 just a little bit further down in the standings. Cloud9 now just right above TDK.